What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here again today. Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Now, as you see in the video title and possibly in the thumbnail, this is having to do with leaked plot details that were out there because somebody who again was a part of the crew, I would say for the movie, they had done a complete entire run of just spoilers on Facebook and you know they were messaging people and i was getting screenshots sent to me of the things they were talking about with said individual backing up that they worked on the movie so this was all from months ago i was just holding off on it so if you want to know these things you can keep on watching because they're not really that important to me as far as i will say but if you don't want any spoilers at all whatsoever because you're holding this movie to some high regard then of course click away but um anyway when it relates to certain things with jeepers creepers 4 certain things about it already do not make sense if this is to be interpreted the way that i'm interpreting it in the same way a lot of people who have brought it to my attention are interpreting it too because it just doesn't make any sense so there's a script page a couple of script pages i would say two that were out there that go over certain details in the movie they go over details with chase and lane and a certain plot point that might be actually going on with lane not just something you can speculate on but probably have more confidence in and stuff regarding ron and marie who we know is supposed to be this older couple consisting of gary graham and d wallace that we all think start off the movie and where that is actually taking place at so a script page for this is stating that there is a moment between ron and marie that looks like it's set in easter sunday of 1991 now the thing about it is going off of this they're playing a game that's also similar to the game that trisha and Derry were playing in the original movie from this line of dialogue that i see between them but what doesn't make sense is how you have the you have that going on but it's set in 1991 how is anything with the creeper being able to happen in 1991 the reason why that's been something that's been bothering some people that have read this is because of the fact that the creeper was established to have attacked 23 years ago in the first movie which was set presumably in 2001 so going off of that and making a big deal about the wheaton valley killings with kenny and darla class of 78 how could this thing be around in 2000 or 1991 how is it around in between its 23 year gap what is going on there is that even something that's going to be explained or is it just a a, a gigantic continuity error i would say that's pretty gigantic because it's something that honestly it's like how how do you mess up that bad how do you mess up that bad i think that that's a very significant error to make considering how this thing starts starts and operates with, regarding how it eats sleeps it just doesn't make any sense so you have that and then you have this other bit of dialogue but goes on later on in this other script page between chase and lane where they get a phone call from sam who was one of uh, lane's friends coming to the festival with them the horror hound festival and sam ends up asking lane so did you take the test yet again this whole entire marketing so far has had people thinking that lane is pregnant you have chase being shown in footage behind the scenes footage before lane gets abducted proposing to lane you have poster that says death gives it life you have a baby carriage present you have what many assume to be a cult worshiping the creeper it looks like they're trying to sacrifice something related to lane and now you have a bit of dialogue from a script page asking did lane take a test yet so i think it goes without saying that you have so many indicators of it that lane is going to be pregnant in this movie and the creeper will presumably be after the fetus that's in her and not the not actually lane herself but something regarding her fetus so off that i know people are gonna say oh they're taking a nightmare on elm street 5 approach so that's trash because nightmare on elm street 5 yes it's trash <laughs> you also have people who are probably going to relate it to some other projects that they feel like they're trying to bite off of i mean tossing that in and then on top of you know the cult stuff it's like okay why can't we just leave the creeper as the creeper we know it's demonic in nature why do we have to give it followers why do we have to give it a cult even if there is a cult out there why do we have to know about it i feel like most people would rather find out about that stuff after it's been defeated and the cult's been disbanded you can find out that a cult was active during all of this but you never got to see them on screen i just feel like people are going to associate this movie if it releases 
well, certain things that have already done this, like a Halloween Six, maybe. Also, just thinking about that and that storyline with the Curse of Thorn, it's like, oh my gosh, here, here we go again. Now it's being done, the Jeepers Creepers. We don't know exactly again how this cult has been operating. I know I've done videos talking about them, but it's the fact that we now have a potentially big continuity error with the Creeper being president in 1991, and then you have this debacle with a, a presumable baby in the mix that the Creeper's gonna be after, an unborn baby that the Creeper's gonna be after in this movie. It feels very much so like a Nightmare on Elm Street 5 mixed with Halloween 6, but the Creepers now also in the mix making it a Jeepers Creepers movie. So it's like, oh my gosh. I don't know, because I, I feel like with what they're doing here, that script page with the year is really the one that bugged me the most. It's like, how do you make an error that bad? How? It's very clear cut that a certain event happened 23 years ago in the first movie. So if it's 23 years ago and knowing how the Creeper operates, how could it be awake in 1991, which is only 10 years prior to the events of the 2001 movie? How is it awake then and then reawaken 10 years later? Is the Creeper cheating? Are we going to reveal that the Creeper is cheating its cycle and that for some reason it didn't get to do that in Taggart's barn? It actually sat there for 20 years. Is there going to be any rationale there or is it just a big continuity error? Given how we've been given things to not trust this team about and how this team has been proven to be untrustworthy so far, this is just a, a, a blatant continuity error that no one really caught on to because they're not the biggest fans that they claim to be. They're just people who know about the IP and possibly wanted to profit off of it. That's just my opinion. And, you know, all the stuff we're finding out, knowing about this lawsuit and all these other details is making it very clear. You know, you have a writer involved who hasn't really written too many major things out there. Not to say that that's going to be a disservice to the movie, but everything just seems like very fishy now when considering that there's a lawsuit involved with this movie. You clearly did not have, have, have all your ducks in a row and it didn't just stop there with a lawsuit. You you didn't have all your ducks in a row when this script was being comprised because the creepers should not be awake in the year 1991. Maybe I'm tripping here. <laughs> you guys will let me know that down in the comment section below. But uh, what do you think about those details? Do you think Lane is pregnant? Let me know that down in the comment section below. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.